Hands up, who likes a screenshot? Yep, me. But whoever remembers to delete them? Did you know that you can set your iPhone to automatically delete your screenshots on a regular basis? If you didn't, then check out this video. Hi, I'm Amanda Scott, the photo organizer, and I'm all about helping you preserve and share your precious photo and video memories without getting overwhelmed. If you're looking to rediscover life's special moments and protect them for future generations, then be sure to subscribe and click that bell to be notified every time I release a new video. There is no setting on the Photos app to delete screenshots automatically. But this little hack uses a custom-built automation in the Shortcuts app to delete unwanted screenshots using any settings that you want. You just need to know your way around Shortcuts a bit to set it up how you like. And if you're not familiar with Shortcuts and automations, then never fear. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set it up. So let's go. Job one, save screenshots from the last seven days. We will use the Find Photos action to find all of your photos on your iPhone. Then we're going to configure it to filter out anything that is not a screenshot. Then we're going to have a second filter to find anything that you took in the last seven days so you can keep them. So you have a week before they start disappearing. So we're going to start a new shortcut and we're going to name it. Search at the bottom to find find photo and add find photo as the action. Tap on add filter in the action box and tap album and change it to is a screenshot. Tap add filter again and tap album and change this to date taken. Tap is on and change that to is in the last. Tap years and change that to weeks or any other time span you want to go for. And then tap in that little blank space between is in the last and the weeks and add number one or another number, whatever you want. Then hit done on the keyboard, but don't hit the little cross in the top quite yet. Job two, filter out important screenshots. So there might be some screenshots that you want to keep, so we need to take them out of the deleting. The options I use are to either favorite them or pop them in a saved screenshots album that I have, but you can choose what works for you. So now we need to add another find photos action after the first one. So tap the photos in the action and hit clear variable. Tap add filter in the action box, Tap that album and change it to is a screenshot. Tap add filter again and tap the album and change to date taken. Tap is on and change it to is before. Long press the current date and change it to select magic variable. Tap the photos variable below the first find photos action box and tap add filter. Tap album and change it to is not favorite. Tap add filter again and keep album and then tap is beside it and then change to is not. Then tap recents and for that, choose the album to avoid. So for me, it is saved screenshots. Job three, set to delete the rest. Now we just need to tell it to delete the rest. For this, we need to search for the delete photos action and add it to the end of the workflow. Hit play button at the bottom to ensure it works. If you get an error, add a limit to the second find photos action because it may just not be able to manage it. Now you'll also probably get a little prompt asking you if you want to delete your photos. It will give you options of show, delete, and don't delete. And if you have allow deleting without confirmation enabled in your shortcuts advanced settings, you'll also see delete always. It is best to go for show, delete, or delete always, as if you select don't delete, it will disable the shortcut from deleting any photos in the future, unless you reset the privacy settings. Not exactly what we want. 
job four, automate it. You can go as far as that if you want and just run it manually when you want it. But the whole point is to automate it. To do that, we need to create a personal automation to run either on a time period or it could be every time you open the Photos app. You go with what works for you. So head on over to the automation section of the Shortcut app and create a new personal automation. Choose the trigger of your choice and now we need to configure it. So we are gonna use a day and a time. So select time of day, add whatever time works for you and then select the repeat so I'm gonna do weekly. Hit next. Then search for run shortcut at the bottom and add it as the action. Then tap shortcut in the action box and pick the shortcut you have just created. Hit next to keep going. Then toggle off ask before running and confirm that you're okay with that. I also toggle on notify when it's run so I know when it's run. And then hit done. And that is it. So it takes a bit of setting up, but how good is that? What other ways do you think you could use this function to keep your camera roll clean? Leave them in the comments below. Are you struggling to actually start organizing your photos and videos? Don't know where to start? I have put together a simple, straightforward, quick start guide to organizing your photos and videos that's linked in the description below. So click through and I will see you there. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead with a like and a share and don't forget to subscribe. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.